Today we're going to work on the curl and the reverse curl. Both great workouts to do if you're trying to get a bigger bicep because one works the front end of the bicep while the other works the back end. If you do these both till failure for multiple reps, you will get the result in your biceps you want in the long run. So give it a shot. Welcome to day five of how to lose 20 pounds in four months. Today we're going to talk about our favorite thing, the scale. Now, the best time to weigh yourself is in the morning, or right when you get up. And no, I'm not talking about for you potty animals that go to bed at 5 and wake up at 6. You're going to weigh more or you're going to weigh the same. Now, the reason it's good to weigh yourself in the morning is because you're usually dehydrated, your body's digested food, and everyone usually goes to the bathroom in the morning. So, why is it your best friend? Because if you weigh yourself every day, you constantly get to see that number. Yes, I understand some guys and some girls are super self-conscious. This is something you're going to have to work through. But for everyone else, as we're working, you're going to understand that you get to see in a week how that number can fluctuate from whether you have pizza, whether you have more water or less water. It lets you see how your body adapts to all of this. Now, it's going to be a little difficult for some people. These are the people. Women, super difficult. Because you have something called a period. During your period, you will fluctuate away a lot. So yours is going to be completely different than guys. I honestly don't know much on that subject, but I do know that much. So the reason the scale is your best friend, along with your waist size, is because as you start losing weight, eventually you're going to get to a point where the number stays the same and you don't know what's going on. Check your waist. Weight gets, gets out of here real fast, the midsection, just when you lose it. Why? Because that's where a lot of fat is mainly focused. Yes, some in the legs, but a lot in the waist. So check your pants size. Your pants size is one of the most important things. And I'm going to show you a crazy example. Last year at this point, I was a year and a half ago, my apologies. I was 250. Now, I wasn't a bad 250, I wasn't fat, but I was 250. Now, being 250, this was my waist size. And no, I didn't buy these pants from someone else. These are my old pants when I had a 44 inch waist. Do you see the room in these babies? It's for the small child in there. Don't, don't put child in your pants. That ain't it. So, now, my waist completely different. So, I now have a 32 inch waist if anyone's wondering. But you want to weigh yourself constantly. Why? Because it will let you understand your body. Understand what foods make you bloated, what foods don't. How eating is affecting you. You cannot be scared to, be, to step on a scale. The scale is your friend. The scale is what's going to help you through this. If you pay attention to the scale, it will tell you, hey, don't eat those quesadillas because you get a lot of gas. Don't eat too much broccoli because you get a lot of gas. So stop weighing yourself more religiously. Stop making the scale your friend. Don't be scared to see that number. If the scale is saying, hey, you're gaining some weight because you decided to stuff your face, listen to what it's saying. Don't be scared. Don't run away. So that's today's daily tip. Make the scale your friend. Make sure you check your weight as you start losing weight and see those pounds fall off. Until tomorrow, I'll see you again.